Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about things that help put stuff on your face. That's like a shit intro but I filmed it like five times I don't know what to say. One of the most frequently asked questions I get across all of the social medias is about makeup brushes and what do I recommend. And so I'm here today to talk to you about the brushes that I use pr pretty much every single day. Now I have a collection that no other human should have because I hated cleaning makeup brushes with a passion. I got a Style Pro before Christmas and I loved that, use it all the time. But before I got that and before it came into my life, I I used to use my brushes and then rather than clean them, I would buy more for the blog. I have a stupidly big collection. I would say if I use like 10% of them. I know, that is demented, but you listen. What's new? So I'm gonna go through the makeup brushes that I use pretty much every day. Well, not every, like I don't use all of these every day, but they're the ones that I reach for, like if I'm going away or if I'm like doing my makeup or if I'm getting ready to go out. These are the ones that I put all the stuff on my face. When I'm applying my foundation, I use one of three things. First thing, the beauty blender. That's not a brush, so it's not gonna feature in this video. The second is this. This is from Nima Brush and it is called, oh, I can't remember. The round top, oh, obviously, or ground top kabuki. I will leave the links for everything in the description box below. I have two of these. Um, I got sent one and then I bought another one because I love it. It is perfect. There's just something about it that just makes me so happy. I love the fact that it's a round top because I figured that, like, I usually apply the foundation to the very tip of the brush. Like, see the way, like that. I usually apply it there. Rather than if it was a flat one, I just feel that there would be too, like, I would apply too much onto my face. Does that make sense? So if you apply it there, when you dab it on your face and you start blending it in, it just makes life so much easier. And this gives a flawless finish. No matter what foundation I use, there's no streaking, no nothing. Oh my God, this is going to be one of those things, just so you know that I'm just doing this a lot. So shut up, it's grand. Um, I can't remember how much it is. As I said, I'll leave all the links below for everything. But this is brilliant and it washes really well. I've washed it so many times, it's still super soft and it's not too tight because you know that you can get like some of the kabukis that are like quite dense and you're kind of, like you apply it but it doesn't really do a good job of blending it in. That's brilliant. And the other one that I use is this. It's the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F22 brush. Pretty much the same thing, just slightly smaller. Like the bristles are slightly shorter and um, there's kind of, no, it's about the same amount. Um, it's, they're just shorter. <laughs> But again, see there's still like lots of give in that as well. When I'm applying my foundation, using both of those brushes, I put the foundation in the back of the hand, dab it in, dab it on one area and kind of blend it, work my way around. Grand. And then when I finish buffing it into the skin, then I look at my face and I go, okay. And then I just, with no extra product, I just dab the brush all over my skin and it just gives a really flawless, flawless finish. I want to pretend like I have flawless skin. Shut up. <laughs> I'm very blotchy underneath all of this makeup, just so you know. Yeah, they are brilliant. Let's talk about powder. You knew it was going to be the real techniques. I don't even know. It's called a powder brush. I've had this for years. And it's the perfect brush for just blending your powder over your skin. And as well, like let's say if this is my powder, like you can dab and then dab it all over your face. You can buff the powder into your skin. Even if you wanted to use this for a bronzer, you could use that as well. And what I do sometimes is if I have done the old bronzer here and here, and if I kind of go, oh, I applied it a bit too much, I'll get this brush and I kind of buff around the edges and it just, oh, it just makes life so much easier. And again, it washes really well. I've had this, I don't know, how long how old is Real Techniques? Oh my God, that's great. Use this pretty much every day. Now, I got sent some brushes from the body shop recently. And this one, is, is that the number? It says N93E, okay? Now, it's not your traditional powder brush, but what I like about it is that it's really tall and like tapers and everything. There's still like lots of movement in it. But what I'm liking about this one is like, if you wanted to do like just powder bits of your face, what is this? So you can kind of just do your little bits. So that's why I was using this like all last week and I would like touch it into the powder, do it there. Like I always have to powder them bits because I do be like shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, yeah, but I really like that. You know, if you didn't want to do like the whole do 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 do, I just wanted to do like kind of pinpoint powdering. If you do that, I wanted to do your tash, your sweaty tash, not your hairy. Well, if you have a hairy one, just like do whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. I think as well, this would make a really nice highlight brush. Be nice. Like, oh, do, 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 do. I'll give it um, a go with that. But at the moment, I'm loving it with powder. Like if I just go, ah, look, a little enlarge. For bronzer, this is one of my favourite brushes. It's the Nima Brush Harley brush. And the first time I saw it, I was like, okay, now what can I use this for? Because it's not like your traditional bronzer brush. The fact that like it looks like it's quite a small barrel. Is that what you call it? No, the ferrule. Like this is quite, a, quite small, and yet 
the bristles are really, really floppy. But with bronzer, oh my God, it's perfect. Cause I, okay. I have a tendency to go overboard a bit sometimes. Okay, every time when it comes to bronzer, but I use this all the time, I used it today. And oh, it just feels soft on the skin. And you can just like buff your bronzer into your face. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, again, I'd say that might be nice with highlighter or even with blush. I, d I wouldn't use that with them foundation because just there's too much floppiness. You just you'd end up like mashing this into your face and that's not a good thing. Another brush that I love and I have two of these. Um, this is the number seven contour and highlight. Contour and highlight. But this side you can use to carve out your L cheekbones, do you know? And then this side you can use for blush. I have used this in the past with foundation because I'm wild. And when I got my makeup done in number seven in Black Just Town recently, um, the makeup artist Lana used this on me to like apply my foundation on it. It's really, really nice. I love double-ended brushes. They're great. You can't stand them up though. That's the only thing. But um, yeah, if you're looking for something that's double duty, contour and highlight or contour and blush. Oh no, it's contour and highlight. Just you can use on blush. You can use on a foundation. Just use whatever you want. Give it a go. I'm not here to tell you what to be doing with your stuff. When I was over in London back in February, we had a little look on shops. Like we had just a, like a few little looks in the shops and I went into Superdrug because that's what you have to do. And I picked up, I think I picked up two sets of Eco Tools brushes, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, these are three brushes. Now see, there's no name or anything. Oh wait, <laughs> there is. This one here is the blusher. Also, you can use it for powder as well. And I've used it for bronzer in the past as well. That's really nice. And they're just so soft. And I just love that it's domed as well. Because you could just literally go and then you sweep, blend, sweep, you blend. So soft. Then this one is called Define. Oh, I don't know. I do be using it for blusher and bronzer. Pretty much like, yeah, I use all the brushes for all the things. Um, yeah, and again, it's just really, really soft. They're really cheap as well, Eco Tools. I think I've only seen a few of them in Boots, but they seem to be mostly in Superdrug at the time, at the moment. And then this one, this is for highlight. This is a fan brush, okay? I've had fan brushes in the past before that has like four, like they look like that. They have like four um, bristles and it doesn't pick up anything. This is great, like look how thick that is. So what I do with this is, so you get your highlight and you can kind of go like that with your highlight. Also, you can use it to contour as well. And it makes like a really nice contoured shape, blended up the top of your head as well. Love that. This, I think, came with the set with that. I think, I'm not entirely sure, but this is one of my favorite fan brushes. I know, this is my actual favorite fan brush that I've ever had. Um, and I just feel stuff like, look how, I knew I was gonna be like stroking stuff. Uh -huh, she said, um, yeah, love that. I bet you could use that for powder as well. Just like go to... <laughs> so as I said, I've used some of those brushes for blush and for contour and bronzer and everything, but this is my all time favorite brush for blush. Oh my God, that's really hard. Like I'm spitting over myself all the time. This is the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F04 brush. It's angled, it's perfect. It's like dotting on your cheekbones and you can kind of blend up as well. And again, you can use this for your contour, for your bronzer, like so. Really nice again really soft this one now i've washed this millions of times it has kept a shape and everything but it's stained from something but it's like stained a nice color though isn't it it's lovely yeah i think i have two or three of these in my collection um and yeah they're just one of those solid will do the job it's brilliant cheapest chips as well and finally this is the final face brush that i use pretty much every day and it's the blank canvas cosmetics f28 now it might look like an eyeshadow blending brush you can use it as that as well like so. Like I would use that to, if I had applied product into the crease and I wanted to blend out the outer edges, you would do that. See, it's quite big for my actual eyelid. What I mainly use it for is highlights. I kind of swirl it around, da -da 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 -da, happy days. And um, if you wanted to, to blend out concealer, you could as well. See, I, I always forget to put concealer on. I just embrace my dark star cult. It's grand. Um, I have about three or four of these in the collection. As well, this would be a good one for if you wanted to do pinpoint contouring. Um, not bronzing, but if you wanted to give your face kind of angles and shadow and um, right there, right in the hollows of your cheeks. And then when you finish with that, you just look like this. So I've had all of these, with the exception of the Body Shop one, I've had all of these for ages and they all wash really well. They're just really good solid brushes. As I said, I have loads more brushes in my collection, but those are the ones that I tend to reach for on a daily basis. And if you're looking to kind of build your collection, Maybe go and have a look at some of them. Just stroke them. Just go in and just go, oh yeah, she was right. <laughs> They're so soft. Yeah, pretty much everything that I have there, everything that I've spoken about is nice and soft and just makes my face look lovely. That's all you can ask, isn't it? 
um, yeah. So I hope that helped. If you're thinking about getting new brushes, um, go forth and investigate and do a bit of research. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching that. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.